What's going on, folks? Uh, good Tuesday morning. Earthmaster here, jumping in real quick. Uh, it is April 13, 2021, 9.36 a.m. Stream went down earlier this morning again, right around 3 o'clock. Not for sure what's going on. Um, <clears throat> something's going on. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Whether it's intentional or not, it seems to be happening uh, for two nights in a row now. About uh, 3 to 3.30 a.m., I lose the stream. But uh, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to continue on uh, as always. But anyway, I, I want to do a quick update video on uh, activity taking place over uh, overnight, early this morning, too. Some uptick in activity in the Intermountain West and the North American continent here, including a 3.9 quake in the Wyoming area, uh, taking place well outside of Yellowstone to the east, kind of towards the uh, central Wyoming area. Uh, this 3.9 struck uh, near Tin Sleep, Wyoming. Never heard of that place. Quite a few folks reported feeling this earthquake that occurred at about 13.7 kilometers below the surface. And um, just looking at some of the Did You Fill It reports here shows the responses from a few people out there around Tin Sleep. Looks like Casey uh, and Casper, Wyoming as well reported feeling that earthquake uh, early this morning. Now this earthquake did show up pretty significantly on the Yellowstone seismograph stations here. This is the overview of uh, Yellowstone National Park, of course, um, where, where it's been relatively quiet. We haven't seen any swarming in recent times, but of course it kind of always makes me a little nervous when we see uh, some further activity around the region. This 3.9, not a big earthquake, but definitely showing up pretty significantly on the eastern side of the park. but. Over here to the west, you can still see that uh, signature of that 3.9, just not as strongly as, uh, for example, this specific station there in the eastern part of the park. So kind of watching it. Um, there hasn't been really too much activity after that 3.9 in this region. And far as earthquake uh, um, aftershocks, we'll go ahead and check that out real quick in this region. I don't see... Uh, any aftershocks there following that 3.9? Um, at least according to the USGS. So took place around the Bighorn Mountains, just to the west here of the of the uh, start of it here. Old Creek Mountain, Owl Creek Mountains, I should say, in the uh, Bighorn Mountain Range, kind of seeing that uh, where that 3.9 struck. This comes after uh, well heightened earthquake activity compared to yesterday. Here in the North American continent, we've seen a pretty good uptick in activity in Nevada and also into Idaho as well. Uh, return of some pretty good size uh, swarming. Well, I shouldn't say swarming. This is all pretty much aftershock activity from uh, last year's event. Was it last year now when they had that uh, uh, six-pointer up there? Any, either way, uh, we're seeing a little uptick uh, in the uh, magnitude department and also the multitude of quakes taking place here along the saw sawtooth fault system that's going to be this little uh, sectional fault that stretches here towards the smoky mountains area um, kind of just off of it but kind of watching this area here to the west and to the south uh, as a little new swarm is taking place there around the sawtooth range uh, over the past year we've seen most of the activity up here to the north northern end of this sawtooth fault system Today, seen a pretty good cluster of quakes there uh, to the south of that main area. Um, all in all, a sign of uh, return of pressure out here along the west coast and the Intermountain West region. Nevada, still showing uh, some earthquake activity, a little heightened um, of the multitude of quakes as well. You can see that uh, red circle indicating the most recent quake, just a 2.0, but uh, definitely seeing some seismic activity retor return to the region. Ridgecrest area and the Garlock fault structure all seeing a little increase in activity as well. Um, yeah, just uh, be on guard, folks. Looks like we're looking at uh, definitely increase in activity. Northern California seeing a small little microquake around Chester and Mineral. Nothing really to report at the volcanoes there. Um, Oklahoma region. Looks like uh, potentially some small quakes there taking place there around the Enid area and uh, north of Oklahoma City getting in on the action out there. A little earthquake out here around the uh, New Madrid fault system at 1.6 near Rig uh, Rid Ridgley. 
Tennessee, never heard of that. Uh, I went as far as, uh, where did I go last week? Uh, just on the other side of the Mississippi River here uh, during storm chasing. Never got up here to this area, but uh, uh, it's kind of a scary area when it comes to potential earthquake activity in the future, that is, hopefully. Um, yeah, so looking at the big picture, folks, we did talk about a little bit of movement in the Japan, Taiwan area in my last update video. Um, that earthquake activity has since died down with the return of the pressure gradients over here to the North American continent, kind of on target today. You can see that with the lack of activity, the dwindling of activity here, uh, we see a seismic increase over here on the uh, Eastern Pacific, North American continent. Uh, be on guard there. Uh, 5.7 around the Indonesia area, but this is pretty south. This is south of the region where we're looking at for, uh, hopefully for some potential further large scale movement up there which uh, could put a little damper on activity in the western United States region. We just haven't seen that. You know, we've seen quite a few fours and some low fives, but uh, no significant release of pressure uh, up here in this area. Down here to the south, Fiji 5.2, little earthquake there north of uh, uh, North Island, New Zealand, pretty deep there along the, uh, uh, hopefully not too close to the Hikarangi uh, subduction zone here. This area we've talked about quite a bit in the past. Uh, this 4.3 striking well inland at 268 kilometers below surface. Uh, the rest of the globe, pretty quiet, folks. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, as I mentioned, that little earthquake shaking things up in the uh, Wyoming area. Uh, waiting to see if this is going to trigger any type of swarming. I just don't see it at the moment. Uh, trimmer map from last night. I don't think that's uh, been updated today. This is from last night right here. Uh, still shows that movement. Uh, into the uh, southern portions of the Cascadia subduction zone uh, inland uh, along the Juan de Fuca plate, North American plate over here. Uh, just kind of ramping up again. We'll see what it looks like later on. So uh, be on guard, folks. As I mentioned, uptick and increase in pressure with this bounce back, of forward, uh, bounce back effect, I should say, uh, as we look at dwindling, quieting activity here to the west. Obvious increase in pressure here to the east. That's a, uh, that's a given and it's very true today so stay on guard be alert for further movement out here along the western coast we'll be back a little bit later folks anyway live stream is back up and running um whenever it goes down i'm it's coming back up it's not going to stop me you know somebody's going to pull the plug on my either my internet or I, I don't know what's going on exactly for it to happen like that but uh you know three o'clock three thirty in the morning now two days in a row two nights in a row is a little bit out of the ordinary so hopefully that stops or else uh, I'll be having to make a call to my uh, ISP and find out what is going on there. All right, guys, have a good day. We will chat at you a little bit later. Stay safe.